So let's see just how bad this game actually looks on a 1050 Ti, shall we? Goodness gracious me. Jackson! Officer Jackson, move those prisoners! Officer Benton! Kitchen's a staff! Officer Townsend, those rocks ain't gonna break themselves! What are you standing there for? Get moving! What are you looking at? Go on! Get moving! You! You! You with the hammer! And you, you'll do. We need to perform a work detail out near Tumbleweed. Come on, get in. Oh, near Tumbleweed. Ah, shit, Open son. Gate. Come on, Milliken. Yeah. Great. Tell you what, old Jameson is a wretched, sour old bastard, and no mistake. You lot stay calm in there. We weren't saying nothing. Well, you are now. Shut up. You know, my wife has acquired ideas significantly above her station. She's been reading too many goddamn books. Personally, I'm against education. Of women, I mean. And men, I guess. Unnecessary doesn't add much to the world. Education. And that's just how dumb some people are. Good day, gentlemen. Oh. Don't do anything stupid. Nobody gets shot. Act like fools and the pair of you will be dead within a minute. Now, what are your names? Jenkins and Milliken. Well, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken. Throw your guns to the ground and get on down here. That's it. Very glad to meet you. It's not worth being rash. You boys get paid a salary. You get that salary whether these people escape or not. Your wives presumably want you alive. Let them out. Now, please. Okay. Okay. You all run away. Aside from you. Try to stay out of trouble. This is a stroke of good fortune for all of you. Use it. Now, Mr. Jenkins and Mr. Milliken, be so kind as to uh, quickly run away before somebody gets shot entirely unnecessarily. Go on, don't look back. Mr. Went, I believe it was $50 we agreed on. It was? Here's 50 each. Each? Yes. Now get out of here, both of you. My employer and I appreciate your professionalism. All we did was stand there and look tough. And you did it fantastically well. Good day, gentlemen. <laughs> How about you pick up these guns and we move out? My mistress is waiting for us. That's a gun belt. That's a gun. Come along. Then you better get on this horse. What is that walk style? Can I modify that yet? Oh yeah, it's I can. Not much of an animal, but uh, let's see. I waited on them moving you some weeks. I can wait a while longer. Walking style. Refined. Nice horse. Wonderful. I hope you'll forgive the secrecy. My employer particularly values discretion. My name is Mr. Horley, by the way. Six months at Sissica Penitentiary, awaiting a hanging for a murder you did not commit. Must have felt a whole lot longer, my friend. You still seem strong, though. I mean, doesn't look like breaking all those rocks has left you entirely broken, in body or in spirit. I hope I am right about that. Rounding you folks up, 
And those sham trials, they were a disgrace. Made a mockery of the rule of law. Still can't quite believe they got away with it. There's others convicted when you were. Came out breathing fire. Maybe you're like that too. Guess we'll see. Or maybe you just want to put it all behind you. Forget you were in there at all. That would be fine, of course. But you will listen to my mistress first. She spent a good sum getting you folks out. You owe her an audience, at least. You're just up here. There's the camp. I mean, that's fair enough. Hitch. This isn't mine, though. This is yours. So, it's staying here, isn't it? Tie it here. Oh, I know how to tie a horse up to a hitching post. Oh, it actually doesn't give you the prompt. It just has it along the bottom as a tutorial prompt. Okay, I was actually confused. Never mind. I guess I am stupid. <laughs> this, uh, she's anxious to meet you. this looks actually really good for a 1050 Ti. I'm surprised. Madam, we're back. Hello. Jessica, the clerk, how do you do? What did you tell her? Nothing, as we discussed. Thank you, Hawley. I do hope we haven't inconvenienced you dreadfully. But seeing as you were due to be hanged in a week, I'm sure you don't object too strongly. I know you're innocent. Well, not, not perhaps exactly innocent, but not guilty of what you were accused. I know you and those who were with you that died were little more than patsies, and that you were set up by one of three men or a woman, possibly by all of them. I can't be sure, but that is all I know so far. And one of these people also made Mrs. Leclerc a widow. And I will avenge my husband's death, so help me God. But I will not avenge it upon them who did not cause it, or caused it unwittingly. Anyway, I'm sure this is all a touch confusing and melodramatic. Uh, where are my manners? Corley, please show our guests to their tent and give them some fresh clothes to put on. Very good, madam. Then serve us both a little refreshment. Certainly, madam. This way. You'll find a change of clothes in there. Alongside a few other items you might need. A lasso, a knife, and a lantern, I believe. I need no hats. Although the worn flat cap would be a nice touch, but the Cayuga hat is indefinitely the best. Coats. A leather jacket. No coat. Vests. Trad vest. It's a bit raggedy, isn't it? Gloves, workman's gloves. Nah. I'm better without gloves at this point. Pants. Fitted pants. Some black fitted pants. Weapon equipment. Skirts. Wash. They're all the dilapidated ones, so. Boots. Worn ropers boots. Homestead boots. Yeah, I'll start out with a pair of homestead boots. Why not? Spurs. Gurdon spurs. Dang, surprising there, even in here. Either way, I think that'll do for now. That looks more comfortable. Hawley? Here, madam. Your very good health. I suppose it beats dying, hmm? Mrs. Leclerc's husband was murdered by one of his business partners. And I intend to find out which one. Or rather, I intend for you to find out. And kill them. You're the only person I could possibly trust to do whatever it takes. Because you and your accomplices, 
you're the only other victims of their lies still alive. You see, you walked into the town at approximately the same time my husband was shot in the back, but by another gun, firing different bullets to those you possessed when you were arrested. These bullets. This was their mistake. Pistol bullets. You were rounded up and sentenced to death. All because you came to town and didn't talk too much and seemed like you were nasty. Anyway, here they are. The people who run Blackwater. Mr. Jeremiah Shaw, banker, real estate speculator, and crook. Mr. Amos Lansing, ranch owner, speculator, and crook. Mrs. Grace Lansing, his wife, society patroness, lover of the arts, crook, my former best friend, Teddy Brown, her disgraced brother, outlaw, wanted man, and still in contact with them. All I ask of you is your help in finding out quite what happened. Mrs. LeClerc would like to help you get back on your feet, get back to work. Whatever your work may be, I don't judge. You want to rob? Rob. You want to save innocent folk? Do that as well. But you need me. Just as much as I need you. I think we all understand each other. I hope we do. Good. I look forward to rewarding you for killing those who made me a widow. My husband was a true believer in this country and in the West. He was killed for greed. Foul greed when there's quite enough for everybody. I don't care what your scruples are as to killing. I will take the full burden of that sin upon my shoulders. Goodbye, for now. Ben Hawley, go introduce her to nice Mr. Cripps. I think you'll like Cripps well enough. He's long past his prime, of course, but uh, he hasn't gone entirely crazy just yet. And he will help you better than most of his ilk. Cripps! Get up. Oh, hello, partner. Harley. <laughs> this is your new boss. Oh, pleased to meet you, partner. J.B. Cripps at your service. We'll pay to get your camp established. Mrs. LeClerc is a generous benefactor. And uh, where are we headed? In terms of where I want my camp set up, do I have much of a choice? I have to set it up at Gap Tooth. Fine. And, uh, madam, while Cripps is establishing your camp, perhaps you can go to the station and see the clerk, then head to see Clay Davies. He's a horse thief and uh, not a terribly nice one. Then meet Cripps back at your camp. See you shortly, boss. Good luck. Well, the hair graphics look really, really bad, but that's 1050 Ti for you. Sooner we'll leave you to your own devices. I need to turn off vibration for this because that is just garbage. Just vibrating every time you switch weapons is just unnecessary. Anyway. I have entered the world with absolutely nothing, and I will make my fortune back that I have on PlayStation. $54,000. Every single limited edition item that came out to date, and 263 gold. All of it will come back to me, eventually. Regardless of what happens, or how, I will get my stuff back. I have friends on this platform to help me, and I in turn will benefit greatly from their involvement. I'm also slightly good. That's a change from normal. Ooh, I have an apple. I have biscuits, health cure, baked beans, bitters, stimulant, and a letter from M. Pretty sure that letter from M, I know exactly who that's for.
Excuse me a second. Settings. Controls. Controller. Off. Ah. Much better. Now I can switch weapon without issue. No more vibration, no more annoyance. Gotta admit, she has quite a mean face. I'm quite pleased I've replicated my original quite well. Hello, Alden. What are you doing out here, kid? Hello. You, uh... You must be a Horley's friend. He's one of us. He said you are also a discouraged creature. Now, I will be honest. I try not to talk too much to women. I, well, let's leave that. Alden, that's me. But Horley insisted you was okay. I'm very discouraged, you see. Anyway, it's a pleasure to make your acquaintance, sort of. I find your reticence charming. Real charming. <laughs> I heard you might want to earn a little extra money. Well, some gentlemen have been robbing our stages, and they are not part of the club, if you catch my meaning. If you can make them go away, I'm sure they will have something of interest to you. They're up near Gap Tooth Ridge. See what you can do, okay? Here, by the way. Oh, thank you. I forgot about the catalog. The latest <clears throat> issue just came into this armpit from a land more civilized. And if things work out, well, my colleagues and I move around these stations as needed. And all of us are very discouraged. We will all help you with pertinent information, even if you are a lady. Good afternoon, ma'am. question is, how do I want to play this? Do I want to play as a good person? Or a bad person? I really don't know. Here, 
Take this. The map. Just be kind. Don't kill me, please. Go on, run. I said, run. I have nine cents and a couple of knives. I like the fact I absolutely just murdered this guy. Hey, I made it to rank two because I found a bottle of absinthe. Is it literally that easy? Just find a bottle of absinthe and then that's it. In the plums. Hey, English miss, this stuff's rare. Give me it. Yeah, yeah, the introductory treasure. Let's go dig this up and then be done with the prologue. I'm not going to break the rules of realism. My horse died. I now do not have a horse. I will have to steal one. When you play this game, you play it mostly to roleplay, I would say. So now... Well, now I've got a distance, I've got to run. This is going to be a hell of a long distance run. <sighs> In fact, you know what? I'm going to cheese the game a little because... You see, in first person, you jog by default. Just holding A sprints you. It doesn't look as good, but believe me, if you play this game long term, then you ideally probably should. Actually, it doesn't. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, if you wanted to have a controller that lasts long term, you probably don't want to do that in third person. But never mind me, I suppose. Wild horses. No, dear. Damn. I had an idea there, thinking, oh, I've found wild horses. Maybe if I break one, I can make use of it. But no. They're, uh, they're dear. Huh, Desert Sage, give me it. Damn, that got spooked way too easy. That was a hard treasure to find, wasn't it? Alright, give me it. Free ability card, a gold wedding ring, a platinum earring, a necklace, 136 revolver cartridges, 128 repeater cartridges, and 0.05 gold, $3. They used to just give you the fairly standard amount of, uh, of money, but now... Apparently not, huh? So I've got to get 25 gold to unlock this.
Yeah, yeah, a free ability card, because it's your dead eye card. Claim with the reward card. A moment to recuperate. Meet with Clay Davies. Damn it, it slipped. Ah. Guess I'm walking. I know I can whistle for a scrawny nag, but god damn it if I don't like realism, so I'm following the train tracks to get home. Besides, this is working up to a harder to get belt buckle rather than the same old, same old of the uh, original. So, just out of curiosity, then, what does the necklace count as? A plain necklace with a pretty blue gemstone. Hey, Squirtle! Hey, gentlemen! I could have stolen a horse there. But I'm gonna try to be nice. At least for a while. I was thinking if one of these got stuck, I could easily claim them. This is a nice jog. Calming just to run through the bush. Here's my way up. Or not. There we go. Come on, I've got to make it soon. Can't be that far. Good thing I invested in stamina. Oh, when you're on lower graphic settings, they don't move out your way. You just phase through them, huh? Alright. Hey there, Clay. Honor among horse thieves. Start matchmaking. Please do. Hey boys, why are you all the way over here? Considering their home base at Scarlet Meadows, they're well out of their comfort zone here. This is the one problem, though. 
It'll be finding players forever, because not many people have to do honour among horse thieves. Let us begin. The endless slaughter. It must commence. It has just put me in a session by myself then, yes? Or not. Ah, it's given me some crew. At last. sent you pop I'm Clay Davies and this is my brother Clive he don't talk maybe you two will get along better <laughs> maybe not listen I heard you wanted to earn some money so there's a gang of ne'er-do-wells they are a bunch of degenerates not good people they're out at Raskeller Fork with a bunch of horses they stole from me well that's a lie but they stole them off the fella I was gonna steal them off of <laughs> Maybe you could get them for me. You think you could do that for me, Pop? Oh, look. Here are your friends. Well, good. Meet me at the stable at Tumbleweed once you have the horse flesh. And I'll pay you good. Oh, and Pop, Horley wanted me to remind you any decent work you can find, take it. But just try to stay out of trouble. Oh, and once you give me those horses, well, after that, we'll talk again. Oh, I do so enjoy these conversations. I'm used to them on account of my brother. Let's go, Clive. All right, let's get started. Hey, I have another horse. Now I would say let's try and do this quietly, however I know better for these rookies shall be shooting before they are tooting.
All right then. This is how you know the aim of a true player. Ah! And away we go! Well, 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 Horley was right about you, dead right, ain't that dandy? Get that horse hidden away, Clive, and ready to move out as soon as we can. Here's the money you earned. Now listen, Horley came by and gave me a message. He said to go see your friend Cripps up at your camp. Now listen to me for a second. Any other decent horses you find, we'll buy them. Just as soon as we are set up, okay? Nice meeting you. You know what? Hold on, boy. I call him boy because I'm older. 30 minutes, he went black. <laughs> Let's give our friend here back the horse. It's yours. A sign of faith and future business. If you want to buy any extras or sundries for the animal, head inside. They've got a lot available. See you soon. <laughs> Come on, Clive. Yeah, sure, I'll take the horse. A good name for a horse.
Hmm. Uh, yes, that, that works. Yes, give me horse insurance. Give me the horse insurance. A lonely ranch saddle. Weathered charcoal and ash, weathered smoke and ash. Yeah, I'll, uh, I'll grab me a saddle. I just need to grind levels to get the best of the best. Thanks, fella. Quite like earning a good bit of money and some gold. Not that I've earned that much, but well. Hey, he's alive. Muzzle top. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Come on, up. Alright, so I can't take the risks I took on PlayStation with you. Good to know. Watch where I'm walking? Really? Are you doing that? Are you really challenging my authority? Eh, fine, whatever. English Mace's stamina and Apple gives, like, health and stamina. I can just feed it Sage to get its stamina core back up. Once I find Wild Carrot, that's when I shall celebrate, but for now, no. it is what it is. Let's take a chilled pace to ride back now that I actually have a horse of my own. It's nice, though. Starting over again, I do feel a bit weird, I have to say. Just does feel a bit strange, you know? Surprised this runs as well as it does and looks as good as it does. Like, this game, surprisingly, has no problems running on a 1050 Ti. Pop him, slime bucket. <laughs> anyway, I've got everything set up. Well, uh, what we have so far, place is pretty nice. I uh, think you did a good job for you. I'll earn my keep. 
When you get too old to fight, what choice have you got? It's either work or beg, and I'd rather work. Oh, I saw uh, Horley. Now, he wants you to come down and meet him in Blackwater when you get a chance. I think he might have some work for you. Oh, and uh, uh, while you're out on your travels, you may see some folk with uh, employment opportunities, good folk, bad folk, looking for a tough guy with a gun to help him. Up to you if you uh, listen to him, I guess. Uh, you know, I, I used to like that kind of stuff. At one time, I almost helped a clown steal an elephant. <laughs> but that's a very silly story. Welcome home. Make yourself at home. It is your home. Okay, the frame rate on birds and stuff a bit lacking, but hey, I can understand it. I love how they've put these together, but this stuff very rarely happens. I get the feeling there was supposed to be voice over there, but... Daily challenges. Each complimentary snacks or sell, uh, sell feathers. Let me talk to you about an opportunity about a business proposition, a good one this time, I promise. Forget my retreat and saddle idea, if I ever mentioned that, it's because I finally found the golden ticket, something lucrative. Almost legitimate by my standards, pays to both our strengths, I don't want to put too much in writing, so I'll wait until I see you. I have to go, gone out of town to pick up a few pieces, can you meet me at the general store as soon as possible? Please hurry, trust me when I say this is an opportunity, you won't want to pass up. Crips. Is Crips at camp? Yeah, he is. Fair enough. Well, <clears throat> this is a camp, and it's a shithole. Right. Well, that's where I'm going to wrap it up for today, I think. At least on the recording I've got going. Maybe I'll try another one. Who knows? We'll see. But that's the epilogue. Epilogue. Wow, that's that's fast. The prologue to G uh, GTA Online. God, I just can't do an outro, can I? Nah, 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 bugger. The prologue to Red Dead Online. And I'll see everybody next time when I continue my little adventure. Still haven't decided whether I'll record everything, but hey, might as well, right?
have started from scratch would be fun.